Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson, and today we're going to take a look at how to install the EGW Writing's 2 app onto my iPad. So if you look here on my home screen, you will see the App Store icon. Some of you might look at your desktop and say, I don't see the App Store. Never fear. Just swipe down on the screen and you will see pop up here search and you can type the word app you will then see the app store app pop up and you can tap on its icon and here we are in the app store now how do you find the egw writings 2 app you might ask well you click on the search bar you type in egw and you can see already it's popping up to egw writings 2 and you can type into the search box EGW Writings 2. And when you found that that's all that's there, you tap on EGW Writings 2 in the um, search results. And then it opens up to all the apps that have EGW Writings 2 words in their description. Now you can see that there are two EGW Writings apps. There's EGW Writings, which is our old legacy app that we released in 2010 and last updated in 2017. And we cannot update this app anymore. It's really built for devices really only running up to like iOS 10 or, or 11. Then the EGW Writings 2 app that has been our app for the last six years in active development is the app that you will want to install. You can scroll down here and read about it. You can read the reviews. You can even, and we would appreciate if you clicked on the star here, and even clicked on, you know, that's submitted. You could even click in here and give us a little feedback and a, and a rating if you like. And when you're finished reading about it and even our privacy policy, which we, you know, as we've said in previous tutorials, we do not in any way share your data with any third party. You come back up to the top and you will see there the little cloud icon because I've previously downloaded it. If you've never downloaded it before, you'll notice like in the Adventist Hymnal app where it says get, because I've never installed this app, you would click on get. If you've previously installed it, you see the cloud, then you just click on the cloud icon. And now the app starts to download. So once you've downloaded the app, you'll see now that it says open. So I'm going to click on open and the app will start to open up. Now it's going to ask, would you like to install the 120 core books? Yes, you do want to click on that unless your storage space on your device is very limited. If it's limited, you can use the app completely online. You do not have to download any of the data. But the, the great feature of being able to download the books is if you do not have an internet connection, you're still able to read and browse the contents of the app. So I'm going to click on yes, and I'm going to start downloading the books in the background. Now, the other thing that you might want to do, and I strongly recommend that you do do this, is that you sign in. So what's the benefits of signing in? Well, it synchronizes your study center. It backs up all your data so that if you lose your device or you buy a new device or you accidentally, the app gets corrupted, never fear your search history, your user history, your library, your listening history, and your study center data is all contained in a safe, secure location on our cloud servers. So let's quickly sign in. We went through in a previous tutorial how you create an account. But if you've already watched that tutorial and learned how to sign in and create the account, then you just come along here and you sign into the app and you click there and then you log in. Now, one thing that you'll want to do is click on allow and that allows when you sign in, if there's a subscription or a news note that pops up, it will give you a little notification. So I click on allow and that will allow me to receive my daily subscriptions that I've signed up for. See how I've got a little 26 up there? Now I've had 20, 26 deliveries of my thought for today and daily devotional. So now we have installed the app. In the background, my books should have hopefully already installed. So if I click on all collections, 
yes, you can see there, 120 books have already installed and, and indexed on my device. So I'm ready to use the app. Okay, thank you for joining in on our little tech tip today on how to install the EGW Writings 2 app. I hope this has been beneficial and may you go with God and always be blessed.